A remote survey vehicle, Okinos Explorer, found this mysterious golden orb in the Gulf of Alaska, about two miles deep underwater. No one can say what this thing is. It's a strange object, just four inches wide, and it was firmly stuck to some rock. When you touch it, it's smooth, soft, feels like flesh. You can even see a hole in it, as if something escaped from there. But what? Divers brought the mysterious orb to the lab from the Pacific Ocean. They felt like in the beginning of a horror movie, almost as if if you poked this thing, something would jump at you. This could happen if they had found it sooner. The hole in that orb means something alive tried to get inside or break out from inside. Which is why scientists assume that this is an egg. We might have discovered a new species, or a new life stage of some species we already know. Some species do lay their eggs on the ocean floor, like squids. Although, if that's the case, then these animals might be gigantic, because that egg is huge. But maybe it's not an egg. Maybe it's a sponge. They found this thing surrounded by white coral, where sponges usually vibe. Just months before this discovery, scientists found more than 5,000 new marine species in a tiny space between Hawaii and Mexico. The Gulf of Alaska is home to 52 more species, with tons yet to be identified. So maybe it's just one of those sponges we haven't discovered yet. Or it might be a coral, or something entirely different. The only thing scientists know for sure is that the thing is a living organism. They're planning to move the orb to a more advanced lab to conduct DNA testing and reveal more about it. And it's not our first horrifying discovery from the oceans. In 2013, two rare locomotives were discovered under 90 feet of water off the coast of New Jersey. Scientists think that both of them were lost in the 1850s. For something that's been underwater for 160 years, they're in very good shape. Even with layers of rust and barnacles. You can even see their smokestacks. And they sit upright, as if ready to pull into a station any minute now. They're not sure where these locomotives came from. There's no historical record of them being built or lost, which makes their discovery even more mysterious. They have strangely rare steam engines, both about 15 tons, lying 5 miles off Long Branch. The engine models were already outdated even back when these trains were made. They were small and powerful, but were only produced for a short time. Perhaps they were on a journey from Boston to the Mid-Atlantic. Then a storm struck. It caused them to either fall off a barge or to be deliberately pushed off to save the ship. Scientists want to restore the locomotive to learn more about them. And this isn't the only gift to the seas humans left behind. Jeff Bezos founder of Amazon, has found the Apollo 11 F-1 rocket engines in the ocean. During the 1969 Apollo 11 mission, the Saturn V rocket used five powerful F-1 engines in its first stage. Each of them produced 1.5 million pounds of thrust. They burned 6,000 pounds of fuel per second, a million and a half times that of a regular car. These engines burned for a few minutes before falling back into the Atlantic Ocean. Jeff Bezos got inspired by this story and began the search for those engines about a year ago. The team used an advanced deep-sea sonar. They finally found the engines 14,000 feet below the ocean surface. Scientists aren't sure what the conditions of the engines will be. They did have a super-fast impact with the ocean, after all, and then laying over 40 years in salt water. But they were built from very tough materials, so hopefully we'll be able to study them. Ideally, Bezos wants to recover them. They're still a NASA property, but he hopes to display them in museums like the Smithsonian or the Museum of Flight in Seattle. Can you imagine finding the famous yellow brick road from The Wizard of Oz at the bottom of the ocean? This thing looks like a man-made road, but believe it or not, it's a natural volcanic structure. Divers were exploring underwater volcanic mountains called seamounts in Hawaii. They wanted to investigate a split in the Seamount Trail. They live-streamed their journey and suddenly stumbled upon something fascinating. A pattern of cracks in the seabed that looks like a brick road. They used a robotic arm to pick up the rocks. The rocks had distinct rectangular blocks separated by straight lines and right angles. Someone joked that it might be a road to Atlantis, and another called it a yellow brick road, 
hence the name. But after some study, scientists discovered that this dry lake bed was made by super-energetic ancient volcanic eruptions. This is actually fractured hyaloclastite rock. Since the volcanoes were going crazy, they heated up and cooled down repeatedly until they created this unique cobbled pattern. On June 20, 2011, the OceanX diving team discovered something extremely weird. They were searching for treasure in the northern Baltic Sea in the Gulf of Bothnia. Instead, they found an anomaly. The thing, dubbed the Baltic Sea Anomaly, logically, looked very weird and unnatural. The anomaly is almost 200 feet wide. It looks like a mushroom rising about 10 to 13 feet from the seabed. It also has a huge disc shape, twice the size of a football field. The main part of the anomaly has straight edges and box-like structures. The top has cracks filled with some unknown black material, and it's not made of metal. The object lies about 300 feet deep in the Gulf's waters. The main mystery is why it's there. This discovery did create buzz in mass media. Some people started saying that it might be a sunken extraterrestrial ship, the remains of Atlantis, or a portal to another world. These claims got even more support when we found weird pavement-like platforms surrounding the object. It kind of looks like a staircase. And on top of that, explorers reported that their electrical equipment, like sonar instruments and satellite phones, malfunction near the thing. And it's not even some random reports. Researchers from different institutes said that as well. But scientists think that this is, most likely, a natural geological formation, even if it doesn't look like it. Although they can't really explain what that formation is supposed to be. They have many theories. It could be linked to human evolution, a glacial deposit from the Ice Age, a result of volcanic activity, and so on. Maybe it's even the remnants of an asteroid that landed on the seafloor thousands of years ago. But none of these theories explain why electronic equipment stops working near it. Who knows? Maybe we'll learn the truth someday. But how about technologies that came to us from the distant past? This strange thing is often called the first known analog computer. It's called the Antikythera mechanism. We discovered the mechanisms in 1901 near the Greek island of Antikythera. It might be from around 87 BCE. They found it in a shipwreck, in incredibly good shape for being so old. The thing was super complex. Machines of similar complexity didn't appear anywhere in the world until the 14th century. There was also a mysterious lump. When they separated into multiple fragments, they found inscriptions inside. They were hard to read because of all the corrosion, but when they deciphered it with x-ray, they discovered that these were the instructions, telling how exactly to use it. Wow, what a gift to archaeologists! So, it turns out the mechanism was made to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades ahead. Ancient scientists used this computer to track the four-year cycle of athletic games, similar to the ancient Olympics. The mechanism had a very intricate structure of 37 bronze gears that tracked the movements of celestial objects. But at least here, we know that these things were made by humans, right? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.